I'd actually only been in the gym for about, about five or ten minutes. I hadn't started working out. I was just, uh, I was warming up. I had hold of the bar, which was on the, on the rig. I just felt myself going backwards. I, I, I'd, I'd lost all control. I don't remember anything then. Luckily, there was a couple of guys in the gym brought me round with the use of the uh, defibrillators. I don't know how to describe it really, because I, I just really didn't know what was going on. I knew that something serious was happening, obviously. I remember arriving at the hospital and I had this like uh, foil blanket around me, you know, like they use when, once you've run a marathon and all that, and I was looking for my medal, you know, but uh, <laughs> I didn't have one. What they told me when I woke up in hospital, I suffered a cardiac arrest which was caused because I had an underlying condition, which is called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is like an enlargement of the heart. It's thicker than what it should be. It can't expand far enough to build up enough pressure. During the, the stay at hospital, put what they call an ICD, which is a implantable cardioverter defibrillator device into my chest. Up to now, touch wood, everything's been fine. It's never had to uh, trigger off or anything for whatever reason. So after, I'd say about 12, 24, so it's called kind of about 30 weeks of rehabilitation. I started coming back to Pure Gym once it opened after COVID, slowly introducing a little bit of uh, weight training, just slowly, slowly use the programs that I was given. Still, you know, I don't think I'm quite what I was, <laughs> in, in, in no way or form, you know, I still think about it a lot. Obviously, I'm carrying this uh, ICD in my chest, so that's a, a reminder of what's gone on, and so it's reassuring to have a, a defibrillator within in the gym. I, I'm still alive, what can I say, you know?